Hi guys, my name's Adam Brayshaw from innerlightmedia.co.uk and I just wanted to say before we get started on this tutorial, a massive thank you to everyone in YouTube world and you know out on the internet. Uh, without your help, our Temple Run live action video um, wouldn't have done as good as it had. Um, in under three days it's done nearly 200,000 views. And, uh, and that is pretty incredible, you know. I've, uh, I didn't expect that and uh, I'm really, really chuffed, you know, that it's done that well. So, um, yeah, big thank you and, uh, yeah, let's get started on this tutorial. Okay, so this tutorial is about compressing your clips. Um, I've been asked by a few people, how do you compress your clips? Why do you compress your clips? And basically, the reason why is because if you uh, just import straight from your camera and you bring it into your computer, uh, bring it into your editing program um, without compressing, uh, what you get is this kind of red line and and it just kind of runs a bit funny if you don't compress your clips and if I try and play it, it comes up like unrendered and uh, so if I add an effect on it or if I render it out, it won't stay rendered if I, if I add an effect or anything like that and every single time I have to re-render it and it just kind of slows the workflow down and it isn't very nice um, you know sort of workflow so yeah you want to compress your clips um, for it to all run smoothly um, so basically how I do that is with a program called MPEG Stream Clip and it's free and you can download it from um, squared5.com and the way to get there is basically in Google search MPEG stream clip and it comes up squared5.com and as you can see it's a, a, is a powerful free video converter and it is free you can download it for Mac and Windows and it's um, an amazing program and I will show you now um, how to compress your clips so once you've got it installed um, open it up and you will get this window here and this window is for single clips um, so basically you grab your clip click and drag it into there and it comes up with this uh, you know this window you can see your your shot and then you want to go up to file export to QuickTime and then you get this window here and this is basically your settings window and um, you've got compression quality sound um, your frame size um, and all this other good stuff so basically um, the settings I use in compression I go um, Apple Pro Res and quality I go 100% and this does bump up the file size I have to say and to be honest you know I, ha I have been known to try and sort of if, if the clip is just like um, you know if a shot's just for a tutorial or if it's not so important like a film that you're working on then you can use the quality and play around with that um, you know and try different settings I mean I haven't noticed a massive change but you know it's up to you really I mean if I'm working on a film then I generally go a hundred percent to get the most out of my clips basically um, and then sound I leave uncompressed uh, because sometimes when I try to conform it if I use a compression it uh, the sound runs a bit funny so I leave that frame size it is what it is straight out of the camera so that will be you know whatever you shot on and frame rate leave that um, because it kind of automatically creates its own frame rate if you leave it blank which kind of gives you the most quality again frame blending leave better downscaling leave and uh, deselect for progressive movies well for this shot I shot on progressive so I'll deselect that and then leave everything else and click make movie and then it will ask you for you know to, to save it as you know I, I always create a new folder um, you know for my clips and stuff so new folder and um, name it and then click go and there you, and there you have it it's literally just doing the uh, doing the compression now really fast as you can see it's nice and, and quick and it you know sometimes a bit of a headache when you've got all these clips you want to do but with this it's literally like a click of a button and you're good to go um, so leave that going and um, <laughs> And then once it's done, you can then basically um, use your clip and, uh, and you, you're literally good to go. So that's the way to do one clip. That's the way to do a single clip. Now there is a way obviously to do a batch 
um, compression. So if you've got more than one clip, you know, you could do anything up to 20, 25, 100, 200, I don't know, however many clips you've got and you want to compress the lot together, you basically, um, you can do that by going into um, uh, list. So up the top you've got file, edit, list, and then down to batch list, click batch list, and then you get this window here, and then this is for all of those clips that you want to compress um, together. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just literally just going to click one clip, but you can select 25 or 100, whatever, um, you know, it's up to you. And then you get the same window as you got before with the single clips. Basically, choose your task, export to QuickTime, um, save the destination folder, um, so we can just select there. Um, it's the same settings as before, Apple Pro Res, quality, uncompressed, everything else is left the same. Click to batch, <clears throat> and uh, and if you was to say obviously do more than one clips, then they would all uh, be listed down here, ready to go. And then all you do is click go, and there you go. It's the same, same as before, and they just go one after the other until the whole lot is done. I'm just going to stop this because I've done it before. <clears throat> and that's basically it. So then what you get... Once you've compressed it and you bring in uh, you bring in your clips to your editing software, you then basically get if I just bring this in here. Um, now, as you can see, there isn't a red line; it's a green line, basically meaning it's good to go. And uh, and I can play it; it doesn't have to render. I can add effects. I can do whatever I want, and it won't have to keep rendering all the time. Um, sometimes, depending on what effects you add, you still sometimes have to re-render. But you know, when it's uncompressed, it just runs really slow, and uh, and it just takes a bit longer to kind of you know get around your your workflow. So that's basically it. Um, that's the tutorial. Um, I hope that helped. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you've got any tutorials you want me to make, then um, send me a message, and I will get back to you. So that's it. Thanks very much, guys. I'm Adam Brayshaw from innerlightmedia.co.uk, and uh, see you soon.